Well, well, welcome with Chef Ricardo cooking program, guys. I'm gonna say if it's the first time you're gonna watch my show, I buy a cooking show, guys. And I'm gonna say, welcome and board. The ship is gonna bring you on board. You don't have to worry yourself that we're gonna leave you. You're gonna be in the show also, guys. So welcome and board. We today gonna show you how you can make yourself a nice, lovely mini fried dumpling. Serve it some baked bean fried up baked bean with some vegetable inside of it guys i know you're gonna love this one you can have it for breakfast or lunch ready nice. for you like beautiful right here i have a big size bowl which we're gonna make some mini fried dumplings first of all we make the dough first that's one of the main main thing you need to do is to make the dough so what we're gonna do basically i'm gonna give you the jamaican way in jamaica we don't normally get the flour from the straight from the bag and pour it inside of the bowl like this so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Roughly we are looking at least four cups of self-rising flour. This is self-rising flour, guys. I don't know if you have self-rising flour at home. If you have any inside of your cupboard, please take out some and make some dumpling now. You're gonna follow this footstep, step by step. Number one, get some flour, self-rising flour inside of the bowl. This is roughly four cups, yeah? If you're doing one cup, it's different. This is four cups, what I'm gonna do. Look at Chef Ricard, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks how to make yourself mini fried dumpling at home. Um, it is self-rising flour. A lot of people say it's true self-rising flour. You don't need to put any anything else inside of it, that's lie. I'm gonna put a pinch of baking powder inside of it. Just a little pinch of baking powder. And also, we are gonna also put one teaspoon one tablespoon of white sugar or if you got brown sugar granulated sugar whatever sugar you got you can put it inside of it if you do got butter you can put a teaspoon of butter if you like inside of it but if not you can also leave it as it is guys then we're gonna put salt a lot of people don't like salt, but you know what I mean? You don't have to put a lot, you can put a pinch of salt. I'm gonna put half tablespoon of salt inside of it. So then what's gonna happen now, you're gonna simply give it a little mix just like this, guys. Combine the flour, everything together. Nice and lovely. So we got sugar, salt, little baking powder, and also four cups of flour. If you're gonna use two cups of flour, please use teaspoon and put a pinch of those three items inside of it. Just a pinch. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use milk. A lot of people say, oh, you can use water. Yes, you can use water. Water is okay to make fried dumpling, but we're gonna use milk today. So when we go through, we're gonna use milk. Look what's gonna happen now. First of all, take a little time and pour some milk inside of it. Get your hand, your hand gonna be messed up for a while, but that's gonna be fine, guys. Pour some more milk inside of it, and I want you to guys to see exactly what I'm doing right here, because this is a nice recipe for someone which wanna learn how to make Jamaican fried dumpling at home, guys. As I can see, beautiful. Pour some more milk inside of it, if you think it's gonna make spoil from you, you can always add a little bit more flour. But when you're making Jamaican fried dumpling, never you try to put too much milk inside of it. Take a little time and hard little by little. You're gonna feel it really sticky, but that's fine. So we're gonna do hard a little bit more. Nice one. And as I said, nothing wrong by using water i love to use milk make my fried dumpling as you can see it's a little bit sticky in my hand but that's fine i love it it's really good and we're not moving the camera out of this bowl to the cars you know why i want you to learn how to make jamaican fried dumpling so as you can see a little bit sticky but that's fine yeah what you can do also make sure when you do this you work the dumpling just like this give it a little work not too much 
car, probably you don't have the strength. Some Jamaican woman, when they're making the dumpling, they would need it because, you know what I mean? I know that ladies is good at that. So, and I don't know who you are, but if you want to learn to make Jamaican dumpling, this is exactly what I'm talking about. When they said need, they mean you put on into it like this. Get rid of some of the starch. Lovely and nice. Well, the secret of making Jamaican dumpling, where a lot of people don't know, what you need to do, get a clean flip like this. Get the dough and put it on it and wrap it. I'm, I'm making someone learn today how to make Jamaican fried dumpling. Lovely and nice. So when you do this, you put the dough to rest. That's one of the most important things. When you put the dough to rest, what you're gonna do now is to put on a medium sized pot on the stove with some you know, vegetable oil or your olive oil, whatever oil you like, roughly um, quarter cup pots of oil and make it start to get warm at a medium size heat. What you do in the meantime, put back this inside of your bowl or just put this straight inside of the fridge and make it get rest. That's the key. Just like when you, you want to put the meat to rest. So you put the dough to rest. When it's pulled back, this is going to feel totally different. So I'm going to put this to rest now, guys. And I'm going to put a medium sized pot on the stove with some oil in the meantime. So give this roughly 20 to 30 minutes and then we will come back to us. Enjoy the recipe. Nice and lovely. I just take it from the fridge. 30 minutes now, as you can see, how it puffed up. So if I remove this and I'm gonna put it back in the bowl, move the fat, the clean from, from it, you can see it feels totally different. Really totally different. So what we're gonna do now, let's make some mini fried dumpling. The mini fried dumpling just break off just a little piece like this. And basically this is my friend pan over here. I have it on the stove around for about 10 minutes now because it was getting hot and I have to turn it down. So I'm just gonna make some mini fried dumpling. Pretty little bit warm at, hot at the moment. So we're gonna see. Nice and lovely. So, that's what you're looking for guys and i'm telling you let's put the camera straight over here that's the guys can see exactly what i'm talking about fried dumplings straight in there perfectly and we are making mini fried dumpling to serve with some lovely nice cooked up baked bean when you want to know your dumpling really good you can see it start to roll inside of it and then you're gonna see it start to float so that means your dumpling is perfect And I know you guys will love this. Uh, you see, it's take time floating. Hopefully, you guys are gonna enjoy this one, man. I know, I know you guys are gonna love this one. You know the reason why? I made this from scratch, and I want someone to learn how to make Jamaican mini fried dumplings serve for breakfast or for supper or for lunch, whatever you like. You can serve it is far. So, and I'm gonna fill that pot with dumpling today. As we goes along guys I'm not moving the camera because I want you to learn how to make Jamaican fried dumpling nice I love it so basically we're gonna make that fry for roughly about a nice good 10 minutes until they see they float and turn it over there by themselves as you can see they're looking lovely already nice well, we're gonna make them fry for roughly about 10 minutes so right here guys as you can see now these one right here is finished and I'm gonna simply just take them out like this some of them might a little bit come out a little bit big but that's fine because I put too much inside of the pot you cannot put too much inside of the pot guys a little pot but that's fine you know what I mean you really learn how to make Jamaican fried dumpling make sure you put it on some grease proof paper get rid of some of the grease because the grease is not good for you so as you can see
Nice and lovely as you can see. I just finished shear out the dumpling. Beans fried up with some veg, onion, spring onion, white onion and tomato inside of it. Look at this. This is just a beautiful breakfast where you can have in the morning or your lunch or your supper. Ready for every time you want to have it. But look at this meal guys. This is just beautiful, fantastic and hopefully you like the recipe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. We've got a lot more recipe like these coming up for you and for you guys. It is amazing to be in the kitchen to give you your favorite dishes. And this one is from Chef Ricardo. Enjoy the recipe. Leave your comments. How to make fried dumpling from scratch. And serve it with baked beans for breakfast. Enjoy. Thank you so much. And see you next time. Bye-bye.